In the heart of Stockholm, Sweden, in the early 1990s, the inception of a band that would reshape the progressive metal scene was taking place. A young and ambitious musician named Mikael Ackerfeldt, fueled by a passion for both classic rock and the heavier depths of death metal, began assembling a group that would come to be known as Opeth. Their sound, even in these formative years, was a captivating amalgamation of influences. You could hear the intricate melodies of progressive rock intertwined with the raw energy of death metal. It was a blend that was both innovative and bold, a sonic signature that would come to define Opeth's music throughout their career. This fusion of influences was fully evident in their debut album, Orchid, released in 1995. It was a masterclass in musical dichotomy, where brutal death metal growls coexisted with melodic, clean singing. It was in this interplay of light and dark, soft and heavy, that Opeth began to carve their niche. Orchid wasn't just an album, it was a statement of intent. It was Opeth announcing their arrival, not with a whisper, but with a roar that echoed through the world of progressive metal. It was a showcase of their unique approach to songwriting, their ability to weave complex musical narratives that were as captivating as they were challenging. Yet, Orchid was only the beginning. It was the genesis of Opeth's journey, a journey marked by continuous evolution and the courage to push boundaries. But even as they ventured into unknown musical territories, they never lost the essence of their sound, the unique fusion that made them stand out. With the release of Orchid, Opeth made their first steps into the world of progressive metal, setting the stage for their unique style. Their journey had just begun, and the world of music would never be the same. As the years passed, Opeth's sound began to evolve, becoming more complex and progressive. Opeth's journey into the depths of progressive metal saw a momentous shift with the addition of new band members. The introduction of Martin Mendez, Martin Axenrot, Frederick Ackeson, and Joachim Svalberg, each with their unique musical prowess, played a pivotal role in shaping the band's sound. Their collective talent brought a new dimension to Opeth's music, enriching it with their individual influences. As the band's lineup grew stronger, so did their music. Albums like My Arms, Your Hearse, and Still Life were a testament to this evolution. These records were not just collections of songs, they were stories woven into music with thematic concepts that held listeners captive. The tracks were meticulously crafted, each note, each lyric, a piece in a larger narrative puzzle. My Arms, Your Hearse, for example, was a concept album that told a haunting tale of death and despair, a story that unfolded with each subsequent song. Still Life, on the other hand, showcased the band's ability to marry brutal death metal with softer melodic elements, creating a contrast that was as intriguing as it was beautiful. Opeth's music was no longer just about the heavy riffs and growling vocals, it was about creating an atmosphere, a mood that transported listeners into the world of their music. It was about pushing boundaries, both theirs and that of the genre they represented. This transformation in Opeth's music was not just the result of the band's growing musical proficiency, it was a conscious shift towards more complex songwriting, a desire to explore the vast expanse of progressive metal. And in doing so, they carved a niche for themselves, a unique space that only Opeth could occupy. The addition of new members and a shift towards more complex songwriting marked a new era in Opeth's journey. This era was characterized by a sound that was as unpredictable as it was captivating, a sound that continues to define Opeth to this day. In 2011, Opeth took a bold step that would divide their fan base. In this year, the band released Heritage, an album that marked a significant departure from their established death metal roots. Instead, Opeth embraced their progressive rock influences, creating a sound that was markedly different from their previous work. The change was immediate and striking. Gone were the guttural growls and aggressive riffs that had once defined Opeth's sound. In their place, the band introduced clean vocals and intricate melodies drawing from the likes of King Crimson and Pink Floyd. This was not just a change in musical style, but a complete transformation in Opeth's identity. The reaction from fans was as immediate as the shift itself. Some welcomed the change, praising the band's daring evolution and willingness to experiment. They applauded Opeth's ability to adapt and innovate, seeing in Heritage a fresh and exciting new direction for the band. However, not all reactions were positive. A significant portion of Opeth's fanbase felt disoriented, even betrayed by the drastic shift. They missed the brutal intensity of Opeth's earlier work and struggled to reconcile this new sound with the band they had come to love. 
Yet amidst the controversy, one thing was clear. Opeth had once again proven their ability to push the boundaries of their music. They had challenged not just their own creative limits, but also the expectations of their listeners. And in doing so, they had shown a willingness to risk their popularity in the pursuit of artistic growth. The release of Heritage was a pivotal moment in Opeth's career, one that would shape their future direction. Regardless of the mixed reception, the album was a testament to Opeth's commitment to musical exploration and reinvention. Despite the controversy, Heritage marked another significant evolution in Opeth's musical journey, showcasing their ability to push their own creative boundaries. With a journey spanning over two decades, Opeth has left an indelible mark on the progressive metal genre. Their discography is a testament to their artistic prowess, with critically acclaimed albums like Blackwater Park, Ghost Reveries, and Pale Communion. Each record is a sonic tapestry woven with intricate melodies, profound lyrics, and an emotional depth that resonates with listeners around the globe. The band's live performances are nothing short of spellbinding. Their concerts often last for hours, taking fans on a mesmerizing journey through their expansive discography. The band's ability to command the stage, whether it's in a packed stadium or an intimate venue, is a testament to their musicianship and the unbreakable bond they share with their fans. Their music transcends borders, touching hearts and souls in every corner of the world. Opeth's legacy in the world of progressive metal is undeniable, a testament to their unwavering dedication to musical innovation. As we look toward the horizon, the future of Opeth remains as exciting as ever. This band, a titan in the realm of progressive metal, is far from complacent. They are like a river, ever flowing, ever changing, carving out their own path in the landscape of music. Each new album they release is a testament to their innovation, a fresh perspective on their distinctive sound that keeps us guessing, and most importantly, keeps us listening. Their creativity is like a well that never runs dry. Even after a quarter of a century, they show no signs of slowing down, no signs of settling into a comfortable niche. Instead, they continue to explore, to push, to challenge themselves and us, their listeners. They have shaped the genre, and they will continue to shape it, mold it, and redefine it. Whatever the future holds for Opeth, one thing is certain. Their journey will continue to captivate and inspire music lovers around the world.